What's up YouTube? Brandon here, you're watching the Scale Racing Channel. Coming at you again with another 2020 Matchbox 5-pack. This one, the MBX Wild 2 set. Take a quick look at the presentation. This one does not have the nifty little manufacturer symbol on the side like the other ones did. This one is a 2020 copyright date does have the list of all the included models right over here on the back. Here's a look at the barcode in case you're interested. Let's get this one opened up and see what's inside. First car out of this five pack is the 1962 Nissan Junior. This in a kind of a gloss cream color. You've got side tampos and nothing on the rear. Or the front. Front grille is molded out of the same plastic as the base, and this one does have the dish style wheels. It says uh, DLM Diecast Liberation Movement. Free the models. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Jungle Renegades back here on the back tailgate, or I'm sorry, on the uh, side of the bed. Clear window glass gray insert in the bed and that also makes up your interior this one with a gray plastic base this casting was originally seen in 2017 in the adventure city lineup uh, 2018 you had it in a pea soup green and 2019 with the red sriracha livery and uh, the first two releases actually did have uh, grill tampos this one of course does not all of the tampa work is going on the side since this is a five pack truck pretty cool looking little vehicle next car in this one is the geo predator spelled g-h-e dash o and i guess this is matchbox attempt at a rock crawler thingamabob i, I don't know exactly what they're trying to achieve with this but uh, off-road vehicle with the tires and wheels with the gold ring going around those and this is in a matte uh, looks like an olive green this is jungle guides on the side um, looks like the windows are pretty much blacked out yeah uh, and this one does have a black plastic base the Geo Predator was originally released in 2017 in the MBX Explorer series, uh, again in 2018 and 19. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, Matchbox's uh, rock crawler type vehicles really don't do much for me. Um, maybe there's somebody out there that digs these things, and uh, if you do, it'll be right there in the five pack waiting for you. Next up is the Jungle Crawler. This one with the metal body with a uh, matte black finish on it. This one has the same type of decos that the uh, Nissan Junior had on them. It says uh, DLM, Diecast Liberation Movement, free the model. Also says uh, Jungle Renegades on the side. Has kind of a camo tampo on the sides. Of course, with that, you're not gonna get anything on the front or the rear. It does have like a green colored uh, windows on this one with uh, looks like a tan interior does have the off-road style blacked out wheels with a green plastic base this jungle crawler is roughly based on the 1942 Dodge carry-all casting originally released in 2009 in an army green and a uh, especially nice model came out in the Lesney edition in 2010 in camouflage uh, it's been in quite a few other five packs and uh, quite a few mainline versions after that and it was retooled in 2015. Next up is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. That's a mouthful. This one in a matte black metal body. Spare tire actually looks almost like the real thing in the back but it is actually part of the bed and the plastic interior. Uh, windows look pretty well smoked out, which would lead me to believe that it probably doesn't have a full interior. Uh, of course, it has the 6x6 
with the off-road tires and the black ring, or I'm sorry, the red ring going around the outside. It does have front and rear tampos. Thank you very much, Matchbox, for not putting anything silly on the side and giving us those details. And I'm not going to lie, this is the only reason why I bought this five pack. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and we do have a black plastic base. This Mercedes was originally released in 2016 as a promotion model in bronze. Uh, the premium versions get the clear glass with an interior, while the mainline versions have blacked out windows with no interior. Uh, I believe that my favorite one besides this one is probably going to be the matte blue that came out in the super fast edition with the real rider tires. But this right here is a very, very nice looking truck with the front and rear tampos. Last car in this five pack is the Travel Tracker. This one with a metal cab painted in solid white and everything else on this thing is going to be plastic. Comes with the off-road style wheels with the white detailing. It does have a uh, pretty cool little motorcycle molded into the front bumper and this rear piece right here is removable. That way you can see all the seats where the passengers would be sitting. This thing back on. There we go. And it does have some junk on the top of that. Of course, black plastic base. Travel Tracker was originally from 2014. It's kind of an Overland Safari type vehicle. Uh, there have been many iterations of this since 2014, and it's shown up in quite a few five packs. Well, that is it for the Matchbox MBX Wild 2 5 pack unboxing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick my favorite out of this bunch. I think it should be no surprise that this Mercedes is going to steal the show from everybody else in this one. Uh, I like the fact that it's. And you got the satin black looks pretty awesome. Plus you've got front and rear tampos, which is also very nice. And it's a six by six. How can you not like that vehicle? Just wish they would put that in the main line. That way you didn't have to buy all the rest of these in order to get it. But uh, honestly, that truck right there, the jungle crawler is what they call it. Not a bad looking vehicle. I actually kind of dig the camo on the sides and also the matte black finish and also the Nissan Junior. Pretty cool little truck. Going a little crazy with the tampos on that one. Would have preferred it to just have the front and rear tampos instead of the side, but it is a five pack. It is what it is. And that's all I have for you tonight on this one. Y'all stay healthy and have fun collecting.